What's up, Lantern? Prison! I'm so excited. Do you feel? How does it feel? Who used to sing that? What was that? Da da copyright bitch. Don't get copywritten, so don't copy me. Y'all do it sloppily, and y'all can't come close to me. Okay. <laughs> hey, how y'all feeling? Good as hell, y'all. Okay. And that's our babies. What's up, witches? There they are. Yes. Hey, Bonnie. Hey, Witchy Jacqueline. Hey, Katie Bell. Hey, Blue Pearls. The ball. Okay. Hey, Eden. Oh, you sick, girl? We're sending you healing, baby. Okay. Can't have our granny sick. Diane. Hey, Diane. Hey, Kina. Hey, Bonnie. Oh, no. Our booze is sick. All right. Well, here we go. Um, We're about to send y'all some to the TV. Oh, see more of y'all sick. Okay, well, here y'all go. We're sending you intentions of healing into the ethers. And into my glass. Into the ethers, Barbara. Mmm. Don't you feel so much better? What if they were like, I'm healed? All right. Oh! <laughs> You see, she, she got the flu shot, now she got the flu. Elderberries, okay, let's pass them out. Turmeric, uh, apple cider vinegar, garlic, red pepper. <laughs> There's some cayenne pepper in that soup. <laughs> Can I get a what what? So, today is very important because guess what? Today is our haul finale. On this channel. Okay. You want to see hauls, you go to Patreon. Please. Okay. Because, honey. Because what you see isn't always the truth. <laughs> I think we all have the same parts. Uh, well, I don't have the same parts as Miss Totsy. I don't think you do either, girl. Um. Okay, Miss Wow. Well, Ranch Games yes. coming in. I know, that's right. Y'all better start shaking it. <laughs> better make it rain all for it. Okay. If you want to get it wet, then you better make it rain. Y'all know I shake my boozes. All right. <laughs> Happy Sunday, yes. Okay, Kina, we love you too, girl. My face is the exact shade of this wall with these lights, isn't it? Uh-huh. And I like uh, milk toast. Um, Y'all like my hairs? No holes burning it from last night. I know. <laughs> Just one in my shirt. Did y'all watch our uh, Samhain bonfire video? You was drank. I don't know what you're talking about. Wouldn't you like some vodka? <laughs> it's water. Mmm. Sage. Alright, so... Guide the plow. Yes, Cassie Sassy. Oh, no, that's right. Yes, drunk. <laughs> we gotta have fun. Oh, yeah. We, uh, the fire, we were, we took down some sewing decorations from the front yard. And when we went to the backyard, guess what? Fire was still going after I poured water on it. It was, I, we thought it was out. It was still like, this was like uh, over 12 hours later. <laughs> I'm just saying. Y'all ever used these before? Incense match? Just thought we'd have a little incense go for our... Would you like for me to do that, Carlin? It's keeping... It's because this thing's all... All of its stuff is rubbed off. Try, try to understand... There ain't no grip to it. Well, I got it. I can use my nail. <laughs> so, who <laughs> that smells? Oh, we ain't doing that. <laughs> What's up? Yes. I know, they might as well have been sitting in the fire well. He did come out and throw his little 
dogs out there to bark at us. We were just like, I need them dogs are going to be house shoes for me if he keeps I it up. I was like, okay, come on out, baby. You're on YouTube now. <laughs> but anyway. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and get started with this haul for y'all. Uh, this is the very collective haul. Uh, this Months is stuff making. from before we tried to go on vacation to present and we don't I don't think we necessarily remember every little thing we've got. So this is going to be kind of like a surprise. <laughs> yeah, because it's been setting in bags and boxes underneath Artemis' altar giving me anxiety. Okay. So now, if y'all were watching uh, Patreon Live last week, we showed you all this. Um, but we found this. This is the most recent purchase. And this is something we found oh, at a yeah. little flea market. And it is old. You can tell by the fixtures on the back. What are these supposed to smell like? I don't know, patchouli, I think, or sandalwood. Well, it's because that's sulfur and stuff. Um, but um, it's very heavy wood, very heavy metal. I'm guessing by the feel of this, this is from the 70s. We do need a six foot fence. Y'all come support us on Patreon so we can get a fence. But look, okay. Now, like we told y'all on Patreon last week, we are not um, super attached to this symbol in any way. It's cute. It's cute for a taste, but not for a swallow. Um, but, I mean, if you found this in a thrift store, would you leave it? No. So, it's just going to be nice. So, I don't think we're going to hang it the way they suggest. I think we're just going to set it on a table. Maybe give it to Hecate. What's the last Why? Why? Maybe give it to Hecate. We don't know. I don't want that. We'll see. We'll soon see. All right. So, from Odd Place, we don't, I don't even remember which peddler's when we got this from, but whatever. I got an axe. You remember that? I got an axe and a tie. And I picked this one out because it's green and orange. You know, mm. I can never have enough of those. These are two signature colors. So Mine are silver and gold. Yours are black pink. and midnight. Okay. Alright, here's this. Okay, so this ain't witchy. This is uh, one of those door hangers for a wreath. So we're gonna spray paint it. <laughs> Here. Paint it, whatever. This is awesome. I don't even know what all this is. Oh. More do I. Okay, so I got some new shawls. This ain't all of them. I already You've worn, seen some of them. I've worn some of them already. But this one is pink. I don't wear a lot of pink. My boyfriend likes me in pink, so I was like, okay, well, I'll buy some pink. So, here we go. This beauty shawl. We'll, put, we'll keep that on. Um... And then I got a long black one with fringe, imagine. Okay. Long black and fringe. That's what they're going right on you my tombstone. A, you got an orange one and you got that burgundy one with, uh -huh, with the, the sparkles. holographic sprinkles on it. Yes. So she lives by her. So she gonna catch her. Now this little cutie right here. It's like a eye of what was it? So, no, that's not what I heard. What would you call that? Metal. It was just like some little metal works spider. I've got a really big one of these on my front porch. Uh, but they got the little iridescent marbles in them. Okay, yeah, my favorite thing in the whole world is uh, shawl, shawls and scarves. Anything that's long and flowy, got fringe. This is cute. Y'all know my spirit totem is ah! spiders so it's your familiar <laughs> it's my familiar i'm uh like uh what's her face on sabrina zelda rubenstein um uh, hilda well i don't want to mention she's kind of dumpy but you know it's whatever but <laughs> ooh. complete the look <laughs> you can sit over here with we got enough. We got enough. We got enough. Goodbye. That's her right now. Alright, here's a bunch of stuff. Ooh! You see. Mm -hmm. We went to Walgreens <laughs> last night. Looking for one before our bonfire. Aww. I knew we bought some. Halloween. 
backwards. We didn't send them out. I know. Oh, well. It's always, oh, it's always next year. <laughs> that was super wishy buy from the Dollar Tree. Ooh. Tree. Novenas. Love. I love a white seven day novena candle. You, now, let me just tell you, I know you all have seen these videos before, heard people talk, but you all know what you can do, right? You can write on here. You can uh, glue images on here with some decoupage. You can take a hot poker, stick down in here, infuse these with oil, herbs, dress them. Or just burn them. Because now this is a safe candle to leave burning in your house. Who do candles? Oh, wow. Oh, right. You need Krispy Kreme? I think you need Krispy and Peggy to knock on your door. So, always, always oh, buying these. Day. Always buying these. Live for these. And you know what, too? I'll show you this right here. Because I... I don't even remember where we got these candles. But I, I carved into one of these and dressed it with oil and herbs this week. And I had one of these that was empty. Empty. Except for like to right here. And I put it, this just went right down inside and now I can burn it in my bedroom, oh God. So. All right. Just some tips. <laughs> yes. Yes. Tip, huh? I know, right? <laughs> can I what? Uh, let's see. This dun, dun. Another shawl. Ooh, two shawls. Hey, these were for sale and I'll just wear them. Well, it's still fall, so. Let's see. Here's another shawl. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Tris Majestic. And then this one, this is not typically my style with these little olives. Po olive polka dots. But, you know, I live for these colors. And you could wear it like this or like this. So, I love the feel of this. Mm. It's so soft. So, yeah. Okay, handy Whoa. flame. Okay, handy flames. Get a Walmart. So now, Candling. if you are into making war oil, hex oil, graveyard dirt oils, um, head work, head work, hex oils, um, these were out everywhere and these will be on clearance everywhere right now. That was at a Kroger. Uh -huh. This is only three bucks. That's where I almost had to fight that woman over a pumpkin. Isn't that pretty? Can you even imagine in this look? Just put all your stuff down in there. And I don't remember who wrote it into a book, but it's a pretty famous um, witchy idea, which is just, you know, a different way of mentalism. But basically says like, okay, well, if you put, um, you, I know, right, fancy ball? If you put um, a, an oil or a potion or something into the bottle that has a graven shape that that substance will take on you know the association of said shape so if it was a heart shaped bottle you make your love lust oils if you got a skull bottle good for hexings death rebirth right okay say hello to Davis Aww. okay now these are weird. Alright, I know Salon's over, but you'll get over it. So this is like a little trick or treat. Pale. Pale, and I think it might be from Dairy Queen, yeah. Dairy Queen. That's just cute. I like that. Put some candy in it. Um Silas. These are really cool. Ooh. They're kind of greasy looking. I like that. Look at that. It's like a test tube. And it's full of body parts. The same parts. I think we all have the same parts. Look at that big old foot. 
A big old clock. We found these at a thrift store. Or a flea market. Aren't they cool? Because y'all know we collect them oddities. Yeah. So that just was the limit. Here's something from the same place if I remember right. Say hello to Doofus. So. These are those no sew fabric appliques like back in the early 90s. I know y'all remember. I bet that's got a date on it. Where you can like put these on a shirt and put puff paint around them. I think you told you suggested colors. Uh huh. So this is the old school. Ooh. Ooh. Stickers. I know we're still on sound, but y'all get over it. Um, but yeah. So we got two sets. This came from a uh, Big Lots. Yeah. So next year we're going to make these and we're going to wear them will be matchy matchy. It's a little kitty cat designs. All those pumpkins. I know, right? And then we got these. These were like 39 cents. And why not? They're nostalgic. Little Halloween Z stickers. Put that in our fun pile, Jessica. Okay, Julia. <laughs> I'm sorry to you two. Say hello, It's Spider Woman's. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I got lots of these. Okay, but I just buy them every time I see them. Don't know why. Odd impulse, right? These little swallows that you hang up on the wall. They're good for a taste, but not for a swallow. <laughs> um, but I'm going to probably pink these. You know? One. And Emerald green, one snow white, and one flashing like a sunbeam through the night. Oh, wow. So I'll probably paint them up, put them maybe in the living room, something like that. Just a little something cute. Put a little goddess in it. And figurines of us. Look. Oh my gosh, yes. Look at us. Look at her. Little witches. I guess I'm the one with the cat that's mean. Pazoos. That cat. Why do I have two hats? I guess I'm peddling them. You yeah, need to come here and buy this hat. For me, bitch. Like how, look how like saggy they do this. Well, if we, put, if we want to be real. Let's see. I can show you. <laughs> They're like way down there on a waist. And we'll scare them up the eyes. Goes down in the treat bucket. Goes down there with them good gobblers. I have no idea what this is. It's a surprise. What is it? What is it? Oh, yeah. Sunday cup. Sunday. We have enough of that blue paper in this house. Okay, so here's more salon for you. Okay, aren't these cute? They're vintage coffee cups. Oh, we still got stuff out in the... Man, yeah, I have to go out to the car and get them. Yep. It's salon stuff, but we all get over it. You see, salon is what... You're around for us anyway, so... Yeah, and it's kind of as obsessive as people get over Christmas normally. We are with salon and Halloween, so... And we got one for our dear friend Tony Lynn Sigler. Okay. So, one for me, one for her. I was probably going to take this to work, drink out of it. Yeah. Two cups. <laughs> Two birds. One woman. I need to show you her. Bags of bags. Mm. Oh, this is from when we were in Point Pleasant. This ain't witchy, but I'll show y'all anyway. This is so old. This is from like... 92. Actually, it's older than 92 to me, but... It's like... Puppy. Was the troll show even on in 92? Mm -hmm. This is like, well this, this is like different. This is from like when trolls first came out. 
But it's little puffy 80s trolls st- or 90s troll stickers. Oh, here Okay, isn't that just cute? I love her stuff. What's in that? Oh, I know what this is. I've been waiting to unwrap this. So there was a little old man, and he let me haggle with him over this. Because y'all know I haggle the price of everything. And it is a crystal mineral tray. Oh, trays. I don't know what this one is. It's Feldspar. Okay. Anyway, this is so old. This is Minerals of the Southwest. And one of these moves around, so I gotta be careful. Look how old that is. It'd be so cute in a shadow box, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'm just, I think what I'm gonna do is just make sure they're all glued good. I'm just gonna put a little hanger on the back, just hang it up. Isn't it cute? Isn't that cool? So inside of here there is Vandalite, Calcite, Malachite, Barite, Desert Rose, Chrysocolla, Gypsum, Petrified Wood, Galena, ooh, I love Galena, uh, Argonite, Boronite, Fluorite, Wolfenite, Obsidian, Quartz, Pyrite, Azurite, Agate, Asbestos, This old man. <laughs> and some jasper. Mesophilia. <laughs> if you were a loved one. Um, and then this was in like a little package. I don't know why. So isn't that the coolest? This is like, I've been waiting for like a month. Well, a month. <laughs> what kind of tells you what they are? Asbestos. Deadly. <laughs> Amphibole. Amphibole. Amphiboly. Amphibole. Mm. Chrysolite. Okay. No. But isn't that... I mean, you could just... See, this is so old. I just love stuff like that. So I was just like, okay, thank you. There you go. It was like... He had like... Well, s- there you go. Six bucks on it or something. And I was like... Three. Three. Hey, there, pretty lady. I'll give it to you for free. So this is a beautiful unicorn with a little collar on. I just thought she was so pretty. She's so quiet and peaceful. And, you know, I can't resist a unicorn. This was a dollar. Okay, look at that. Pretty. Look at that. Pretty. Pretty. <laughs> so we'll just go ahead and smash this over here where we're in on somewhere. <laughs> Can't pass up a unicorn. Look here. Hello. So, okay. Uh, y'all remember a couple months ago we did um, a giveaway for some Labradorite. Well, we done gave it away, but we also got a couple more pieces for us. Sure stuff. Go over here and grab this off of the. Snake I'm just going to take the price off so y'all can actually see it. Because this is some cool stuff. Oh. So it was the um, per one, hey sunshine, um, per uh, one of the requests or uh, suggestions of one of our subscribers here. Uh, from way back in February way back in February when we was in Pigeon Forge she said look did you go to the Mineral and Fossil Museum where the Knife Museum which uh-huh. was really a hillbilly hangout <clears throat> alt-right museum if you ask me and so we done burrowed into the basement and let me tell you that is the coolest place ever well that area we were in the rest of it can go to hell but check out that piece of Labradorite Okay, and I ain't bothering to tell you that this, the, their prices were fantastic. Okay, now, so this is a little rough piece, right? Okay, then we got a tumbled one. Look how big that is. 
Look at there. How do you feel? Witches. You guys just would not be. Oh god, I wish that was a necklace. Or a ring. You just wouldn't believe the prices up in there. That's how we could afford to hook y'all up on that little giveaway. Because mountains of oh, Labrador stuff. right in there. And the prices were all right now. Yes, that's awesome. Did you love it? You got to go to this place next time. Okay, it's in the Gun and Knife Museum. Aren't they beautiful? Ooh. 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 Okay. <laughs> now. Go for it. I got this little trinket. See, it's got a snake in it if you open it. Oh, here, let me do it. Okay, so you hold it like this. Oh. Open the box. Ow! <laughs> I love stuff like this. It works. And so... This is like, well, you said that this would be something that I would take on a date and hand this to somebody and say, open it. And yeah. It really is. It's very cute. I showed, um, I got one, I showed it to my boyfriend, and he was like, I'm really mad that that worked. <laughs> I was like, he was like, I knew that something was going to pop out and get me, but I, it still scared me anyway. Its little tongue actually kind of hurts. Yeah, if you don't move your hand quick enough when it pops out. Uh -huh. But I have that setting on Dictina's altar, because that looks like something she would like to. Uh, let's see. And that was from the same place. Oh, the goobers. Okay. Now, you guys remember... You know, mac and cheese. Text her and just uh, tell her my hands are full and that, uh, yes, whatever she wants to cook is fine. Okay. We're going home for supper. Okay. Um... Now, if you guys remember back when um, we went, I think I've shown it to you before, but I've got this little crystal troll hanging in my car, and I just think he's the cutest Look thing. Look at that. I got it. I swear, she's just like... From Cincinnati, uh, or not Cincinnati, somewhere up in Ohio, uh, Nature's Treasure. Well, we got these from that, uh, the basement of that crystal place. Oh, I got it. And they were much cheaper. <laughs> Look. Oh damn, we got lots of shit in this. Look at it. I'm trying to get it to focus. Put your hand behind it. Or at all. Whatever. And then we got this one. It's kind of like a little puggy looking one. You want to take bets on what that says? Okay. Ask you. Okay, you got little red eyes. Aren't those cute? So, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with these ones. Because, uh, you know, I've got the one in my car. This one looks like a pig. This one looks like a frog. And this one looks like a person. Aren't they cute? And they're all carrying a little quartz point. I don't know oh. if you can see. But they're carrying quartz points. So, I'll probably put them over here with my Fay collection. Remember, you also got those little fairy statues, too. Oh, yeah, I have no idea where those are. Okay. I mean, that's scattered. Here's a, a bag of um, tree Your bags. Your phone <laughs> is having. Just gotta tap it. There's a bag of tree bags. <laughs> um, now, this is cool. Okay. Um, Why are you talking about that? Oh, I'm confused. Now this is a little, oh, it's um, Smoky Mountain Relic Room, that's what it's called. They have these little boxes, okay, they look like this. And they are artifacts that have been dug up from different eras and times, uh, you know, different civilizations, whatever. So I got one that was medieval which would have been 12th and 16th century. Artifacts from the Golden Age of Chivalry, Knights, 
the climactic era, and the first muskets. Okay, now you want to talk about some energy work. Okay, if you and okay, they give you something really nice. This has glass, which will help preserve energy. Um, there are like buttons and findings. I want to see if I can little closures. Here's a little button. Don't want to handle them too much. Um, here's a little closure. Oh, my here. I don't even know what this is. It's like a piece of a sculpture. Uh, could be an earring, even. I'm going to make it into an earring. Might. Nah, probably not. Look at this one, though. This one's my favorite. It almost did. And that one's so cute. This one's just like a little piece of, like, punched out metal. You know, um, but the idea and the purpose behind this was to make um, something that you put really old items in. There's like a little old nail pin, um, oh, yes, a little flange, um, because you can put things like this away. This kind of look like a Driscallian. Um, you can put things like this into something to kind of um, use. Uh, to transmute, you know, energy. Because the more old things are, the more things they've seen, the more energy they possess. Okay? And she texts back. She texts me. Oh, no. I don't think so. Um, Ooh, I'm getting a splitting headache. So, that was those. They had all kinds. They had Grecian. They had Roman arrowheads. There was a lot of expensive stuff in there, but like really cool. If you couldn't even afford it, it's just fun to go look. Called the Relic Room. Okay. So we got those. We'll stick these over here with Miss Annan. Yum. Oh yeah, I forgot about this piece. More crystals. Cross switching is a sin. So this, I'm I'm not really sure if this is. Um, I think that was smoky, wasn't it? There was no sign. If this is smoky, it is some of the darkest smoky quartz I've ever I seen. Mean, it, when you hold it up to the light, it looks like smoky quartz to me. In my life. But there you go. Huge, dark, lots of rainbow inclusions. Yeah, it's smoky. Yeah, you're right. So. But to the naked eye, without these bright lights on it, it looks black. Mm -hmm. That's how dark the smoke is on this crystal. Um, can you even with this? This was so inexpensive. That I, it. I can't. Like, I have per. I have purchased like three small little tumbled janky ass stones. For the price that I paid for this. Just saying. Okay, slaying. Slaying. Slaying the game. Yeah, we don't need to show them that. We just got some altar. Yeah, we use little Halloween. Halloween witchy rags for our altar room. So we got those. Let's go with this. Oh, good. The end of the world. This Look at this little dude. Look at her. Apollo. Isn't she cute? Don't she just live for Miss Thang? Okay. Miss Sunny Side Up. <laughs> oh. Okay. I hope it's big. I hope it's juicy. Oh, here's something else from the relic room. Oh, yeah. And I don't even know what kind of stone this is. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so look here. This stuff was just so cheap you just had to grab because you just couldn't believe. But this is a little crystal skull. I'm assuming this could be a type of onyx. Okay. 
go back. That's how they just like me. I have to take a magical eraser to... I think that this was like maybe three bucks. I mean, a crystal skull made out of onyx for three bucks. What you said? Oh. Feed I me think help. this was from our first trip to the drive-in. I don't know. There was a big ass box on there. Ooh. That's beautiful. I think I like that. Thank you, thank you, and hi, hello to all of our watchers. We want to thank you for making it through the 1970s to the 1980s. But for those of you who didn't make it, check that out. <laughs> Green man. <laughs> okay. Live for him. Uh, somebody made this. This is very quite obviously handmade. I forgot about that. As you can see by, you know, it's... What is that word? When you can tell something's handmade. Imperfect? Don't know. Imperfect doesn't mean that it's bad, it just means it has character. Yeah. So yeah, I got that from a little green man portion of the altar over there. Um, so we're definitely going to plop that on there. Very green. Very green. My altar's almost all green, which is weird because, you know... That's my favorite color, yeah. not yours. Because it's her color and not yours. I guess it's more of a but Rhiannon mine. thing. But and look over there at the colors that are on. Is that Earth. Earth! <laughs> but yeah, this is super cute. We'll probably like put his little collection of like earthy stones in there. He'll like that. He's an easy one to please, isn't he? He likes it. Oh, and it was oak, if you couldn't tell. Evolution. Oak! Evolution! What the hell is this words? Shut the hell up, bitch. Son, I forgot about this fix. This is from Ye Old Frame Shop. Shopping. In Atlanta, Georgia. Quality framing at discount prices. <laughs> Well, look at that. Y'all know what that is. It's even got your dress on the back. If y'all have been watching us for any uh, amount of time, you know the spiritual connection with the red tail hawk. Um, and even, <laughs> you know, even as I'm going through, um, you know, lots of spiritual changes and things like that, this remains the main and most prevalent connection that I have to deity. It's the Red Hulk. Um, it's like the only place that I can always count on being able to see something, you know. Mm -hmm. um, even if, you know, I'm on a different kind of path now, I know, spoiler alert. Um, but, I always come back to this. So, had to have. Because, I'll always come back. Okay, before we open the stuff on the inside, which you can see it's filled, we got this. It's filled with, I said, ah, you're warny. Yes. <laughs> and it's got this nice little moon man on it. Oh, hell yeah. What she said. It says Proctor. And Gamble. And Gamble's trademark. Well, it actually does, Proctor and Gamble. Hello. Oh. All right, inside of here we have oh. all sorts of goodies. I have... For Miss mm. Artemis. Yeah. This little wood carved bear. Shout out to us, Blanche. Isn't that cute? She's getting all kinds of stuff on her altar. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what either of these are. Oh, I do. I do know. I'm scared. No, you'll like them. I'm scared. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Who do we say? Sagittarius? Yes, girl. Okay, so these are like little uh, astrological plaques that you hang up. And so they're Sagittarius. They didn't have them all, but we got the ones they did have. These are old. I mean, they're falling apart. And who was that one? Leo. Oh, I can't see them. It's Tiger. So there's Miss Leo. Okay. Shining bright. 
So these are cool. These will definitely be cool hanging up in my living room with curiosities. And to add more to the curiosity pile, some more pink. <laughs> oh yeah. So check out this hand woven spider's web featuring a big a ass spider. Big ass spider. So I have really tall vaulted ceilings, or vaulted, whatever, tall ceilings, very tall, and I'm going to hang this up in the corner, and I think what I'm going to do is maybe hang some really beautiful ribbons from the bottom, okay? I think that's just going to be gorgeous. I know it's hard to see it. There you go. That's perfect. Here, I'll get behind it so there's more dark. I think the pink is what makes it stand. Oh. Yeah, there you go. See? That's perfect. And so, I've never seen anything like this in my life. Like, the price can't beat it. It's beauty. It was like 16, 17. Mm -hmm. um, I lived. I died. And then I got a, for a very reasonable price, a cute little winter scene painting with a doe in it. Full doe, moon. A deer, Gee, a I wonder why I got that. Deer, this frame. A golden drop of Miss James. Do, 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 do. Girl, this frame's coming off because this is... Blue plastic. <laughs> it's actually blue metal, but I don't like it. But there you have it. Tacky, tacky tall girl. This is beautiful, though. And... It's fine. Well, I don't know what you're upset about. Here. Disaster. So, yeah, these are really cool. Um, maybe we'll make a, a craft video during the winter so y'all can watch us do something with this. But these are like little sarcophagus boxes made out of paper mache. And what would be really cool is if you take, I'm trying to get a full clip there, is if you take one, you paint it up, okay, and maybe what you could do is you could put like um, things of yourself that represent you and things like that up in there, um, because, you know, later in the channel we're going to be talking about, you know, um, what the actual purpose of mummification and, you know, um, what the Egyptians were doing with all of this kind of stuff, which was, you know, a completion of ascension and things like that. So that's going to be really cool to kind of like try to incorporate that into like a spiritual spell. And they kind of show you on here what they look like they're painted. I thought those were cool. And it was like three bucks. So. And there's like tons of them. So maybe when we do our next giveaway, once we make it up to, um, what's our next landmark? 2000. 2000. Then we will have, um, we'll give away some of these so that you guys can make some too. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay, so now her sacral chakra is in need of <laughs> because she ain't got one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So this is just like a little wood carved um, spiritual a female statue. Isn't she cool? So I just thought this was a neat little thing to have around. Um, this was a dollar. I mean, how cool is that? Mm -hmm. So well, there she go. Okay, this was 50 cents, and our little bottles, it's a jar of bottles, um, they've got little ribbons around them, they don't have any corks or tops, so we're, we've got plenty we've of got those. some kind of something, we'll stick in the top, we can buy it really, okay. how much do we pay for that, 50 cents, three little bottles, so, uh, 
Blue Planet Eyewear. Aww. So this, I didn't know what the like purpose I had in mind for this was. I just thought they were cool. Um, and cheap. You know, love a sale. Okay. So, uh, this is like a little pocket mirror. And the outside is like fabric. Like plushy fabric with a little mirror on there. But it's always good to carry mirrors with you, of course. Mm -hmm. This one happens to be a little crackalack, but that's okay. There you go, there's your weekly inception. Welcome to the mirror dimension. <laughs> so there's that, and that was 75 cents. I also thought that would be really cool if you glued it to something and then put it on a necklace full of like lapis beads or something, just wear it. And then guess what, guess what's against you? A mirror, okay, reflect your true self. <laughs> This, what is this? What is it? I... Gorgeous. Just had to have. Um, so, I don't know um, if you guys, I'm sure everybody knows what these are. The Briar Horses. Brittany collected these. They're very, mm -hmm. like, big collector's items. Um... It looks like Swift Wind. Mm-hmm. I sure do. Or Spirit. And so there she goes. She real pretty. So I just thought that'd be cute just to stick on one of my shelves full of weird stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, girl. We're drowning. All right, and I got these two little flocked fawns, which are old vintage for... I think a dollar for the two of them. I'm just going to set that on the Artemis altar because I don't think there's enough deer or enough animals, so I'm trying to put the animals on it. Very cute. They just don't make stuff like that no more. No. Oh, Lord. Oh, I don't remember buying this. Ooh. So this is like, um... something. That <laughs> is very that. Um, I guess you could put a candle up in here. I guess you could put a plant. That's probably what I was thinking because I'm always thinking about plants. Um, to hang. So, that was a dollar. That place was very cheap. Yeah. Really. Um, and then this I thought was really cute. It's like a little coconut purse. Here it's got a little zipper. You know, if you wanted to, you could refinish the outside of it and make it into a little protection charm. Mm -hmm, which is probably what we're going to do. Because it's like got engraved palm trees. Um, but we thought maybe we'll glue something up on there or something. But you can unzip this and you okay, well, I put my change in that, my money, I travel. No. We're going to put some protection charms. Maybe some purposes, some intentions, a mirror up in here. And then look, you zip her up, you could wear it, you could, I mean, I'm not going to wear this, but <laughs> could you imagine? It looks like one of those cookies. What are they called? Macaroons. Mac we have macaroons. Okay, right, let me just eat this chocolate macaroon, girl. Oh no, that's your protection charm. Ooh. So, you know, I'm a fan of some gourds. <laughs> Alright. So this one, somebody has done some really cool web art on. So, uh, these are just good just to fill areas. You know, just up in... Um, Saskatchewan. Okay. <laughs> For what it, oh, yeah, I forgot about that mess. Okay, ooh. Okay, sorry. Alright. Just mm. crying. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, I got this from eBay. And I got this uh, to give to my boyfriend, because... Oh, I'll never turn this again. Uh, I really hope you all can hear it! Okay. Um, it's an essential oil bottle, 
and I thought it was going to be like really tiny because I got him some essential oils to try and um, I was like, oh yeah, you know, I'll get you something that you can carry him to work and I was thinking this was going to be tiny, you could put in his pocket, please. But um, you're supposed to take the little stopper out, put the oil in, and then you're supposed to put this lid on, and the oil, you just shake it, and the oil gets into the wood, and you're supposed to be able to smell it. And they said that you could not wear this like a necklace, but I think they, I think it was to put over your uh, rearview mirror, I think, or just to hang up. But it was like 99 cents eBay. Okay. Why not? Why not? Clearly, I didn't give it to him because it was gigantic. <laughs> and it's gigantic. And it was gigantic. Four, three, two, one. All right. So next we have palm ash and cypress black lava sea salt. Okay. So, <clears throat> here's some palm ash for 50 cents, and bl cypress black lava sea salt from yeah. spiceandtea.com. Now, I thought that this would be really good to have, because, y'all know this is a very, oops. Destroyed. Christian thing, you know, they do that thing with the palm Sunday, ash Sunday, whatever, but, um, and I read, and then I heard someone actually on YouTube talk about it recently too. Um, that um, do you ever notice where they? Oh, up, roll. Do you ever notice where they put that palm that palm ash on the third eye? On your third eye to block out your third eye, hold you down. Because what does religion do? Hold you back. These are so trashy. <laughs> so this, let's see, there's three of these. I might throw some of these in a giveaway too. Just little moon charms. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just little plastic moon charms. Be good for like a, you know, something you want to hang outside, make noise. I don't know. It was cheap. Now it's done. How can it work? So here's another one of those little pocket mirrors. This one's like way more extreme. Look how sparkly beach. So again, necklace, could you imagine? Um, and she got the mirror on the back. Here's your inception. Inception detection. How about this baby lips? That was 10 cents. Why was this one 10 cents and the other one was like... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> there we go. Well, it's dead now. Here you go. Oh, yeah. This is so cool. Oh, my God. It's, like, so cool. It's gone. It's gone. So, this is... I feel like you're this mess. I know, me too. One of those medieval tiles. It's not going to focus because it's so small, but it's got the unicorn and the lion and the lamb. And the maiden, like, mother figure... And, um, you know, she's given the, the maiden a box. What kind of box? Shoe box. And uh, she got a box down there where who hoo is. Oh, gee, that's what I was thinking. I see three birds flying up over them. I see um, white rabbits. Um, I see, oh, I guess it is a rabbit. I was going to say it was a deer. Apple trees. Well, this is a very feminine thing, and look at all the red. Mm -hmm. It's all mostly red. <laughs> and uh, they have some flags hanging up, which are red with like a blue banner and crescent moons. So, you know, it's like one of those medieval tapestry things. And I just love the symbolism that's in all of that old stuff. So. Now I have some altar tiles, too. We got from the same scrap exchange place. Butterflies! And they're about the same color as the wall and they're getting washed out, but there they are. It's like a really bright peach, creamy, salmon-y. Got all kinds of vines and swirls in it. And figured that would be perfect to set on the altar so I don't 
destroy the altar cloth. And to go with that, we have this beautiful snake plaque. Snake woman. Or a dictina. His favorite color. color. Mm -hmm. Cobalt. And R-Y-D. We, these were... Clearly handmade. Clearly handmade, but these were like 25 cents a piece. Okay. Oh. And then, do you want me to go out to the Freak Star and get that other stuff? If you think so. I can't remember what it is. So I don't know. It's stuff that we got from that one where we got that vintage bowl mold. Oh, yeah. And then finally, from the Scrap Exchange thrift store, I got two LGBT centric books Finding the Lesbians and The Rise of the Gay and Lesbian Movement. There were so many more books that I wanted, but I figured I'd better not. So I have to read up on my my people so i'm gonna trot out there and get that okay yeah um it's very similar to the one uh the unicorn in captivity but it's not that one because the unicorn's not in captivity <laughs> she's just hanging out with the um with the two maidens the mother and the maiden and the lion's just hanging out mm -hmm. okay so we're literally drowning in stuff <laughs> Um, so yeah, yes, yeah, Shelly, you are late. <laughs> um, so, uh, what was I gonna say? I have no idea. Um, I don't know. <laughs> but we've, um, been itching to get this uh, stuff out of the way all day um, and once we get this haul out of the way we're going to kind of just like we talked about in the beginning we're going to kind of discontinue the hauls for quite a while um, on the main channel uh, because we want it to be more focused on education and spiritualism because it, it teaches the wrong things that you need material things to uh, be spiritual and you don't. So, say goodbye. We'll go still do them on Patreon though, because, you know, it's okay to have fun, but, you know. I've just been drinking goo. That's sort of your thing. This is the thing I hate about halls, is the mess that has to be cleaned up afterwards. Just gonna pile it up and then unpile it and then pile it up somewhere else, right? Thank you. Oh, diddling. So this is a really cool doll. Isn't she cute? She's like a Halloween doll, handmade. Um, her face is like out of some kind of brown shirt or sock. Her eyelids are burlap. She's got a little witch hat. They painted her face. They made her a little feetsies, a little dress. So just this year, I, I've unmasked uh, the Halloween doll collection. So I think that'll be an ongoing theme next year. <laughs> Four bucks. Isn't she unique? Oh, that's another little goo gobbler. This one is a ghost and a pumpkin for two dollars vintage. Uh, she said, excuse me, stop. Mm. Ooh, a little blue gobbler. We got this to put on the Artemis altar. We okay. want to burn some oil or just oil in general. You put that tea light. Put that tea light in there. 50 cents. 50 cents. I'm too sick. I'm too sick of your shit. Yeah, I'll let you show. <laughs> it's three, it's a ghost nativity scene. Okay, so uh, there's Mary and Jesus. They fighting over... Um, they look like they're doing the hoedown. Yeah, they're like square dancing and baby Jesus is a ghost. Holy ghost. <laughs> Laying down there. <laughs> I just thought that they was They thick, the, though. They real thick. I don't know if you all can uh -huh. see that in there. Look at that. 
Mary and Joseph are thick as biz. It's a good day to have a good day. Let me see their chances. Oh, yeah. So this is uh, Senorita. And uh, this is like a little Day of the Dead sculpture. You know, I love Day of the Dead sculptures from Mexico. Um, and she got her dress. And she got her face. And her ponytail. This seems older as well. They just called it figure on the bottom. But super cool. She bald headed, but she got a ponytail. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else we got. A goo gobbler. Oh. Man. I wanted to wear these on the sound one. This is some old right here, too. Ugly, but old. She was afraid to buy them for a Texan pad, Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Happy Halloween. Can't you just see somebody walking around at a fall festival with those on? Happy Halloween. I bought these for 25 cents. Happy Halloween. You're a piece of trash. Ah, my fears. My Google And numbers. then we got this vampire tray. A little ghost down there is cute. Look at that. Isn't it? That's, uh, look at them chains. That's, um, what's his name? Count Spookula. Oh, la, la. Uh. I can't think of his name. Old, dead, piano player, gay. Liberace. Oh, we're revoking your rainbow card after that. Okay. <laughs> Again, here. Don't have any clue what's in this box. Yeah. Aren't those cute? Put three little tea lights in. Trio cat candle holder from Illuminations. Uh, this is not vintage. Mm, but it's very cool. It is very cool and it is very cute. Oh, this one's got a pin in her back. I look for her shawl too. Dun, 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 dun. And that will do it. That is the finale in the Little Witch issue. So, we're gonna go gobble some goo and get out of here. Um, so we can start the end of our lives. <laughs> Which is the smash that is at our feet. Right. Luckily, most of it is Halloween stuff, and the Halloween's uh, gonna go away soon. That's a sad thing, but. Um, so, yeah. So, next week, who knows what we're gonna be talking about? We hope y'all enjoyed the Season of the Witch series. Um, we enjoyed making that. We've still got to fix, put together our Mothman thing. Uh-huh, still in the making. We're, it's really good. So we may be um, trying to do um, some more footage for that. So we may be going back to Point Pleasant. Yeah, well, that would actually be a, well, depending on how traffic is up there, I would say that would be something good for us to do on... The weekend of Thanksgiving. Oh yeah. Because I don't think any of those people will be out and about. Maybe they will. Maybe lots of weirdos too. You never know. Um, but. Sorry, so, Edwin, you're in the trash now. <laughs> so we may do that. Um, We're planning on visiting our friends in North Carolina soon. I hope. Um. Oh yeah, the scary story. It's um, it's a short story. Yeah. But so okay, so on. How Sowens, Um, I was we were at the parents' house, you know, hanging out, 
Watching um, scary movies. Watching a scary movie. We will watch and follow the House of Usher. Mm-hmm. Um, which is Edgar Allan Poe. Um, they took quite a few artistic liberties with... Which you can imagine that they would have to to make it, you know, fit a movie, but... Um, anyway, so, uh, so we're sitting there watching. And then, uh... I'm tantalizing the cats. Right. And so, you hear this noise... It sounds, sounds like somebody like, opening the back door. Okay. And we were just like... And of course, you know, I was looking right down the hallway. Okay. And so, tell them what was different about the hallway. The light came on in the hallway. Okay. And then and then... Okay. There was nobody there. <laughs> there was nobody there. Our dad jumped up like he thought, you know, there was somebody in the house. Like yeah, leave was it to a cobra beaver. from... Planet of the Apes. Harambe, you know, is going to go and clean them out. So, we're just, you know, like, just sitting there like, okay, no, that's not a human. Um, and so yeah. they go and do, and um, they come back, or he goes, blah, 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 you know, and so, so then we're just sitting there, you know, and then, like, while we're still watching the movie and stuff, um, the light in the kitchen, I kept noticing, kept flickering. Pretty creepy. And then later that night for Brittany. And a leaf bottle got knocked off of my nightstand. It wasn't like it was setting at the edge and you know it just kind of, you know, slid off. It was setting back and it went boom. And of course I sarcastically laughed and then slammed it back up on the table and nothing <laughs> happened after that. And then I told you my little um, Samhain story in our last video. The final um, cookie is gone. The final cookie is gone now. Okay. I mean, we didn't even have to go to a grave star. No. Star. Yard. Grave stone. Stone stone. Oh, know. my head. It's great. Um, Day. To be alive. Um, lesbian. So. Y'all know. Somebody getting pulled over. Okay. So, um, we'll... You know, keep y'all updated. And if y'all watched uh, the live, um, shoot, I don't have it to show you all because my purse ain't in here. But um, there was, okay, so with the cookie story, um, you know, yesterday morning on this little table where all this activity's been happening, so y'all gotta go watch that other video. And if you're not, if you follow us on Instagram, you should go watch the, if the it's, live. Yeah, there's a live on there. If it's still there, I don't know. But, um, uh, there was a crystal quartz piece left on that table. Never seen it before in our lives. Um, it has an, a little tiny black inclusion and a little tiny orange inclusion. How perfect. And it, um... A rainbow inclusion? It's not really cut like a crystal. It's like, it looks very natural, you know, mm -hmm. as if it was like broken off of a bigger piece or something. Um, pretty cool, you know? Some Lots spirit. Of stuff goes around. Some, it's the time of years. Okay, so just don't forget. Uh, the veil is still thin. Yep. So oh, the there. veil is always thin. If you did ancestral work, you would know that. So, uh, sorry, I'm just ranting on somebody that I really don't like. Um, you know, take advantage. The veil's gonna be thin for a while. Do your spirit work, do your astral projections. Uh, get your and sissy altars ready to rumble. Okay, real talks, bitch. <laughs> so, um, we will see y'all next week. And <laughs> Because um, we probably won't have a video coming out this week. Yeah. So. We, we got stuff to do. So, um. This is, begins our study period, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we will see you guys all very soon. Um. If you're a Patreon, go check out Patreon. We posted your live over there with your readings. So we hope you all enjoyed those. And. Yes, yes.
So, um, we will talk to all of you all very soon. Also, some, and we're not trying to out anybody, but some of the Patreons did, got declined again because Patreon is a... Moody witch. So, y'all make sure, you know, if you're on Patreon, uh, just... We'll contact you and let you know. And but, um, uh, we're also thinking about switching over to a different type, Patreon type thing. A page where you guys, it's easier for y'all because... And it's easier for us because Patreon is absolute The, the payments Google. get declined. Nobody can, you know... Nobody knows the troubles that we have. Yeah. So it's been a pain in the butt. Um, we lose about three to four people, not because they're deleting themselves, because, you know, it lets you know, you know, if it was because they were declined and kicked out. Um, so we lost, you know, and at least three to four people because of declines every time. So And it's all Patreon's fault. It is. It's, it's not your own fault. It's not anybody's fault but Patreon and their weird systems. So, you all just keep a check on that. Um, you will receive an email, I do believe. I'd like to audit Patreon. From Patreon, letting you know that your payment got declined, which means you don't have your reading. Um, Witchy Jacqueline, I don't think you will even have a chance to get declined until next month. So, uh, it doesn't charge you till the following month. So yeah. you'll get charged on either no December 2nd or 3rd. Oh God, it's already November. So, no worries yet. So, y'all just check it out. Um, yeah, Blue Pearls, I know. Girl, and I know you struggle with them already, so. But I know you know how to light them up. <laughs> so, light them up, girl. I mean, I, we hopefully, um, we're going to be able to find a new platform to use instead of Patreon. Because we've had it up to here. <laughs> so, um. But all that content is still on YouTube, so all we gotta do is, you know, just wherever we go, we can link you all to that content. So, um... They, I have a feeling Patreon's getting ready to get cleaned out. They're about getting ready to get the blue pearls <laughs> across the throat. These have always <laughs> brought me luck. Um, because y'all know, our girls light them up. <laughs> so, they got their issues... We apologize. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> you all know that's our granny right there. Miss Blue Pearls, say hello to our family. Y'all know that we got family in the chat. <laughs> so, if y'all ever wanted to meet our grandmother, she's right here. Miss Blue Ball Pearl. <laughs> Say hi. I'm a soft machine man. Howdy. <laughs> we'll see you at uh, family dinner later, Granny. <laughs> um, yes, yes. So, um, we about to ski daddle and clean up Hell House 2018. <laughs> so, until we see you. Oh. Before we go. What is that? Do, do, um, what thing we would like for y'all to do before we leave? Smash that like button. Beat it up. Smash it hard. You gotta beat that thumbs up. Okay? Because y'all need to let us know. Let us feel the love. Let us experience. Oh, there they go. One, two, three. Y'all just keep smashing it. Smash it. Mm, mm. Give it to them, girls. Okay. Because all that love, that's the love button. That's how we know y'all enjoy. Okay. You like what we're doing. We like what we're saying. We like what we're spreading it. Because, honey, it's like peanut butter. It's easy, easy to, to spread. spread. Okay. <laughs> okay. Y'all got to <clears throat> beat it up. Oh, and let us oh. know. And, um, I'm just going to get to have the fun job of taking the magic eraser to Miss Thang. Good thing we both saw uh, I know that's right. And um, the more y'all like and comment on the videos, the more that helps us. I haven't um, been all that great at responding lately, but... I mean, it is what it is. But the more y'all comment and the more y'all like the, um, the videos, 
the more it puts us into other people's suggested videos because it's gonna other videos and channels that you watch people that also watch those it will suggest us to them because it knows that you're into it so hit the like hit the comments come back send us love because y'all know we're sending it back yes we always do that's our threefold law you send us love you are completely naked. we're signing out carrie <laughs> Ranch gang coming here late. Okay. But that's okay because so we're about to post this so you can rewatch. <laughs> and we love you anyway. Uh -huh. Um But um yes, become a Patreon and if we get to our new um our new platform soon, <laughs> if they let you pay. <laughs> what company do you know that won't take your money? <laughs> They're like, no, no, it's okay, it's okay, no. And then they try to uh, blame it on your uh, bank and payment method. I'm like, no, dear. Blame it on Patreon's dumb and then the, ass. And then they'll send uh, the creators a message, and they're like, well, it's because of the way that we charge people, and it just doesn't because come through very well. They're doing something that we know that doesn't work, and but it's, it's, we're very it's actually pretty stupid that they do that, because... That takes their money away, too. They don't know what they're doing. They don't. So, y'all know. But anyway, so keep the comments, keep the, the likes, um, and we appreciate it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, it don't make no sense. It don't make not a damn bit of sense. Um, but, yeah. We will uh, see you guys very soon. Very soon, next Sunday. Um, and until we see you guys then, what are we going to do? She's fabulous. Bye, y'all. Mess! Mad!